Hello, what's up guys? We're back again in our LMS tutorial. Last time I've shown you how to use uh, flash, card, flash cards in the LMS. Okay, this time I'm going to show you another uh, useful application in the LMS uh, interactive using H5P uh, drag text. Okay, so... Uh, Shout out po na kay Richard Binyas. Hi pre! Thank you for subscribing. Let's proceed. Okay, so again, you need your LMS of course. No? You need your LMS. And uh, just uh, turn editing on if it's off. And then let's go directly to our lesson so again we have to go to the content bank just click this one and it will pop up like this so what we're going to do now again we need the two copies of the module one of course for direct uh, reference to the answer keys all you need to do is just uh, we have to rotate that and maximize it for a little and then of course our uh, activity that we need to transfer to the LMS from digital module again this is a case-to-case -case basis uh, depending on the kind of activity in the digital module we will use the uh, appropriate uh, application for for such uh, activity again guys we are uh, we are just we are using uh, the H5P applications, but in the LMS there are a lot of uh, applications other than H5P. Okay, so but uh, for this video, let's use H5P drag text. Okay, so let's go to drag text. So we have that. So a drag text is a uh, is a uh, equivalent to a matching type in uh, in a in the digital module like this okay so it is just like a matching type uh, this matching type here especially if involves text no images and things like that no uh, illustrations so we can use uh, the drag text in this case perfectly for matching type questions or activity Okay, so let's just copy the activity title and put that, put it, put it in the title. Then uh, the direction we can edit that, match column. But I think this is more appropriate in our case. Ito sa LMS natin. Okay, let's just put the uh, period. Now we have here in the text box, uh, it is a uh, there is a guide here what we're going to do is we only have to put asterisk before and after our answer okay so in this case we will copy the text and then put the answer after the the phrase or the sentence and then let's put uh, asterisk Okay, so let's start. So number one, let's copy. Banknotes. Then period. And then uh, the, the answer. What's the answer here? Banknotes uh, D. So we have ultraviolet rays, copy, and then paste, and put asterisk before and after the words. Okay, asterisk. Let's copy the asterisk so that it will be easier next time around. Then let's uh, add again another text. Again, this is uh, 
trial and error method guys let's uh, just uh, later on save and try our uh, edits if it works then that's good if not let's find a way you know so letter A visible light copy then paste put asterisk like that then enter copy and let's just uh, put all the text and the answer first when my mana time mag edit e infrared copy paste then next sentence or question copy paste and let's have this as one sentence very short wavelengths cooking and then let's have the answer okay uh, wait let's have the answer here what's the answer of question number four B microwaves okay so it's good to have uh, answer keys already so that we will not think of the answer we just have to correctly go to copy pasting and of course we had we have to double check it later if it's correct the content and the answer but uh, that would be later after we all have edited the uh, the the h5p uh, what's this uh, okay drag text 5c okay x-ray and then again let's go back take note we have to put asterisk between a uh, 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 before after the word the answer key so like that okay I think uh, it's good hopefully it will work we have the settings here you can uh, enable to try you can do that okay then saved and see if it works okay so there you go guys we have it uh, working perfectly so let's try the answer say used to identify fake fake bank notes maybe UV x-rays infrared microwaves and uh, joints for faults let's just check it okay so we have here it's uh, working perfectly it's uh, checking correct answer and of course wrong answer okay so and we can show the correct answer and retry okay guys so that is how uh, drag text h5p applications uh, that is how it's done I hope you have uh, you have learned something from this tutorial and uh, Thank you for subscribing guys. We are now 167 subscribers. The last time I uploaded last video 165 so plus 2 subscribers. And please you hit the like button or if you have suggestions, comments, just comment it right uh, in the comment box. And leave a like, hit the notification bell, and if you want share this video for your to the rest of your colleague who are using LMS in their online learning platform or modality. Alright guys, see you on the next video. Bye guys!